Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video, I'm going to talk about a rare coral. It's an SPS coral I personally have never acquired. It's called Hydnopora. It's a beautiful green coral and it's hardy. And I thought I'd do like a little uh, care tip requirement uh, when it comes to that coral. I did some research on it and I thought you guys will enjoy the video and find out more about this strange coral for me at least. So, but before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and smash that notification bell. So, let's take a deep dive into it and check it out. Hold on. Okay, so here we are, focused at the specific coral. I haven't done uh, one of these um, videos for quite a while, you know, where I go ahead and I select a coral that I'm going to talk about, and then I do some research, the care tips, and on and on. But this coral uh, got my attention because although I've seen and I'm educated on different types of uh, corals, SPS, LPS, softies, and on and on, I had never heard about this coral called a uh, uh, Hynopora coral. So I thought I, you know, it, it might be a very common coral to me. Be honest with you, it's the first time that I've known of this coral. Of course, as you must be aware, just by looking at it, it's a SPS coral. In other, in other words, a small polyp stony coral. Now this coral, besides uh, the name of it, Hydnopora, is also known as a horn. You know, like the horns of a sheep or whatever. Horn coral. And upon research, I did find that this coral does carry a strong sting. So this is a type of coral that you really shouldn't have it very close to other corals. Now, moving along, when it comes to the mother colony, uh, the location of these corals, the mother colony is actually in the Pacific. So, you know, you're, you're talking about, you know, like uh, Australia, the Philippines, and on and on. And then also, I did find out that these corals are are hardy they are considered a hardy type of sps corals like let's say for instance the green slimer that's also considered a hardy sps coral and then like usual when it comes to sps corals um you know it's the same common um conditions that you should have it under like for instance lighting well it should be an intense lighting which as you notice i have it way up there uh, to the highest, more or less highest level of the rock work. Uh, and then when it comes to water flow, well, being SPS, uh, it should have like a moderate water flow. And then I also learned that when it comes to feeding, well, this type of SPS coral, usually it should be like uh, powdery food, fruits, you know, uh, foods like reef roids, and also uh, frozen foods like mice shrimps. When it comes to the water parameters, well, when I do these types of uh, videos, I always say within normal limits. Now, what I mean by within normal limits, it's, you know, the, the uh, standard when it comes to temperature uh, 77 or 78 degrees Fahrenheit, although you can actually go up to 80. And then, you know, a pH really, I'm not going to talk uh, from now on uh, too much about pH because really you should concentrate on the alkalinities but you know the alk should be what like uh, uh, within 8 and 9 and then the calcium I say like uh, 430, 450, 500 mag uh, 1240, 13, 1500 you know the, the uh, standard type of water parameters and then uh, finally, I did find out it's really an easy coral to keep. So I would say that somebody that wants to dwell into SPS coral, this really, uh, I would say it wouldn't be a bad idea to get one of these corals because it does adjust to uh, the different parameters, to different uh, type of water conditions. It's not going to go sour on you like the more expensive, more delicate types of SPS that if there's just... Uh, a change and there's no steady uh, type of uh, parameters then it will go sour with this coral by what I see it's similar 
like to the uh, green slimer, as I mentioned before, it's a hardy coral and will tolerate changes. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it educational and fun. Now, before I leave you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and smash that notification bell. And like I say at the end of all my videos, happy reefing, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.